What's going on? This video is going to be about old sorry excuse Howard University going to revoke Sean P. Combs' his honorary degree and return his money. These fake black colleges are a joke. You let me say something for people who think I don't come at black folks in America with 3Ks. They're some of the worst ones of them all. Let me explain why. And if I upset you, so what? I'm going to tell you why. This ain't conservative. This ain't liberal. This is common sense. You know good and well what Sean P. Combs was about before you took his money. You know good and well what Bad Boy Ruckus was all about. He didn't even made it past a quarter at Howard University. So how you get an honorary degree again? You will take anybody who sets foot on your janky campus to support these white racist devils and say, okay, you're an alum, you put money and ties in. And as long as you play the game and bring money and get pimped and hustled, you're fine with it. Just don't upset the mass up. Because this is what this is about. This ain't got nothing to do about no Cassidy or nothing like that. You knew Biggie was taken out. You knew the history of Bad Boy Records. You knew that how the industry worked. And you hear things on the streets. So now to act like you all high and mighty and that you got some kind of uh, morality and that you flexing. <clears throat> and he going to give him back his money. How many people went to school because Sean P. Combs was associated with your alum? How many millions was that generated? Why don't you, Howard University, give up a dollar for every time someone came to that school because of Puffy being associated with the school? Now, what that that be? And who cares about some token honorary degree and doctorate? <clears throat> what does it mean anyway? The cat barely can read. He ain't fundamentally the smartest cat when he talks. But this ain't about that. This is about bringing the lums and putting putting behinds in the seats. See, my problem, especially with black American pop culture, is simple. <clears throat> be it R. Kelly, be it Bill Cosby, be it Puffy. When they get trouble, you act like you don't know them. Money get funny because the white master tell you, can't listen to them no more, can't support them no more, we are no association with them. When have you cared about domestic violence, Howard University? When have you? When did you? When did you hold anybody to any standards? Rest in peace to Marion Barry, but wasn't he like the mayor 50, 80, 1,000 times? And you saw him get high and all the stuff that goes on? When did you become such a moral authority? When do you? You know, when the money's good and everything is cool, nobody got nothing to say. But when problems arrive, then all of a sudden you want to distance and act like you don't know folk. That's why black folk don't get along now in America with 3Ks because it's tied to the chain of the slave chain. One hand is tied to trying to do the right thing. The other hand is tied to trying to fit into corporate white America. And the other hand is tied to trying to play both worlds at the same time. And those hands are going around like a pie and they're cut and cut and cut. I laugh when they give these entertainers and celebrities honorary degrees or doctrines or whatever this crap is anyway. Because they contribute through the corporate enemy. The industry is a plantation, another penitentiary, just like these universities are. I would tell a black college like this. If we black in America with three K's and we've been forbidden to read and we were fundamentally challenged through Jim Crow, why are you even charging me to come to school? We don't have true affirmative action. That's for white folks. So why am I not allowed to go to black school for free? I want to know. I want to know. And Puffy doesn't even go there by half a court, like a semester or two. And he's honoring, he's representing you. So why has he stopped representing you now? Because you don't stand behind. You get bought and paid for by white folk or white America tell you what to do, the corporate brand. Why don't you tell the truth about black colleges, most of it? It's just corporately bought. It's just in black name only, but white base. Tell the truth. Because if you were free, if you were free, you wouldn't have to dangle an entertainer who didn't even really graduate from your school. You wouldn't have to dangle anybody and take their money. If you were going to teach the truth. So. I won't tell you like this. If you listen to Puffy's music. Keep on. And I say this to say this and that. 
Not condoning what he did, but it ain't no secrets what he doing. But this is because he got white folk upset with him and they turn on him. And this is what they do to the black folks who are supposedly holding the gate at the gate. They say, if you want our money, you will disown that Negro. That's what comes down. That's what Howard University is doing. This ain't because they got some morals. It's because they're told by the massa, you want us to acknowledge you, disassociate with that Negro. Like they didn't already know that he was involved with liquor and other things that have long been there. What did they think he was running? A fun and game show in the industry? Theirs is the facade that they put on. And then when they get ready to pile on you, this is when they go, oh, we're going to disassociate. with You're no different than the white schools. You're no different. You get pimped. It's just like being like the black ministers. They get pimped and bought. And this is just another case of that. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another shit if you're liking my piece.